Have you ever wondered what society would look like without a state or governing authority? Anarchy, derived from the Greek term anarchia, meaning without rulership, offers just that. It's a philosophy that thrives on voluntary cooperation among individuals, fostering community-driven decision-making processes. A fundamental tenet of anarchy is decentralization, which disperses power and promotes localized governance structures. Anarchy, contrary to popular belief, is not synonymous with chaos, but advocates for a decentralized voluntary order. History, in fact, unveils instances of successful stateless societies. Let's take a step back in time and journey to the Icelandic Althingi, established in the year 930 AD. This society was a beacon of anarchy, showcasing the principles of decentralized governance through a legislative assembly without the need for a formal governing authority. Now let's venture even further back to a time before formalized states. Indigenous communities around the globe offer a fascinating glimpse into harmonious stateless living. These societies were not characterized by chaos or disorder, but rather by a profound sense of community and cooperation. They operated on the basis of consensus, ensuring every voice was heard, every perspective considered. This spirit of consensus-based decision-making, deeply rooted in the fabric of these communities, continues to influence modern interpretations of anarchy. These societies often operated with consensus-based decision-making mechanisms, a principle that continues to influence modern interpretations of anarchy. Modern interpretations of anarchy vary widely, from anarcho-capitalism to anarcho-communism. Anarcho-capitalism paints a picture of a stateless society where private enterprise reigns supreme, placing a high premium on individual freedom. It's a world where the invisible hand of the market guides all aspects of life, from commerce to conflict resolution. On the other end of the spectrum, we find anarcho-communism. This interpretation dreams of a classless, stateless society where communal ownership is the order of the day and egalitarian principles guide the interactions among its members. Turning from theory to practice, we find real-world examples like Rojava, a region in Syria that's gained attention for implementing principles of democratic confederalism, and Zomia, a concept exploring Southeast Asia's upland regions where evasion from state control has given rise to thriving stateless societies. While anarchy presents intriguing possibilities, it also poses challenges and criticisms, such as issues of security, resource allocation, and the prevention of power vacuums. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of anarchy, it's clear that this concept is not as black and white as it might seem. Often misunderstood, anarchy is a multifaceted concept rooted in principles of voluntary cooperation decentralization and non-aggression. It's a rich tapestry woven with threads of historical precedents and contemporary experiments. By examining these, we navigate the complexities and possibilities of stateless societies. This journey invites a nuanced understanding of anarchy's potential in shaping our collective future. Before we wrap up, we encourage you to delve into anarchy. Don't forget to subscribe and until then, keep learning, keep questioning.